Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com, setting the record straight about climate. It's been almost 12 years since I wrote my first article for the Register, Arctic Ice Refuses to Melt as Ordered. August 15, 2008. Just a few weeks ago, predictions of Arctic ice collapse were buzzing all over the internet. Some scientists were predicting that the North Pole may be ice-free for the first time this summer. Others predicted that the entire polar ice cap was going to disappear. Now let's look at what's actually happened to Arctic sea ice over the last 14 years. The blue line shows extent for every day over the last 14 years. This is the winter peak and this is the summer minimum. And the red line is the 365 day mean. Every year the ice grows in the winter and then it melts in the summer. But the 365 day mean has hardly changed over the last 14 years. The press is constantly telling us that Arctic sea ice is rapidly melting and that it's all going to be gone soon, but the data shows that what they're saying simply isn't true. In 2008, the leading expert in Norway predicted that the Arctic was going to be ice-free that summer. And one of the leading experts in the United States predicted that the North Pole was going to be ice-free in 2008. As a result of these expert predictions, British swimmer Lewis Pugh tried to kayak to the North Pole. He didn't make it very far. And in 2007, Mark Ceres at the National Snow and Ice Data Center in Boulder, Colorado, said the Arctic is screaming. The ice didn't disappear in 2008, but one of NASA's leading experts made a more conservative prediction of 2012. This brilliant prediction of an ice-free Arctic in 2012 was echoed by National Geographic and Seth Borenstein of the Associated Press. Well, that didn't happen, but some scientists were a little more conservative, and they predicted the ice wouldn't be gone until 2013. NASA's leading climate expert, James Hansen, was even more conservative. He predicted the ice wouldn't be gone until sometime between 2013 and 2018. And for all of his brilliant mispredictions, Democrats recognized him as a climate prophet. Nobel laureate Al Gore was extremely conservative, and he predicted we'd have ice until 2014. But the Sierra Club said no way, the ice was going to be gone by 2013. Professor Peter Wadhams from Cambridge University was even more conservative. He said the ice wouldn't be gone until 2015. And journalist Mark Hartsgard agreed with him. He said the polar bears and the ice wouldn't be gone until 2015. Andrew Friedman was the most conservative of all. He said the North Pole wouldn't be open water until 2016. But sadly for all these doomsayers, the Arctic is just refusing to melt as ordered. And I've been having fun with this circus of experts for almost 12 years. The Arctic is not cooperating with the experts this year either. This was the ice extent three days ago. And this is the ice extent today. It's actually grown a little bit. I'm going to flash back and forth a few times. This is today. This is three days ago. Today. Three days ago. Today. This is supposed to be peak melt season right now, but the ice has actually grown a little bit over the last three days. This map shows in red areas which have melted over the last three days, and in green areas which have grown. It's a little difficult to see the green, but there's been ice growth all along this edge. The reason this is occurring is because there's very cold air north of Alaska, and the forecast is for it to get colder next week. Now let's look at the sea ice graph from the Danish Meteorological Institute. You can see that over the last few days, it's actually started to tick upwards. Climate alarmists only have six more weeks to melt the Arctic, and things aren't looking good for them. They better get their blowtorches out. The ice isn't going to keep growing like it has been the last few days, but it's pretty likely that it's going to melt slowly. And in just over two weeks, Toto's going to mark his 12th anniversary of pulling back the curtain on climate junk science. You can visit Toto on the web at realclimatescience.com. He's been pulling back the curtain on junk science and propaganda for a long time.